Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Sun Biotechnology Association. I am Sajid Arisha and today we will discuss decoding the MPOX virus from discovery to prevention. MPOX means the monkeypox virus. So first of all, we have to know that what is the monkeypox virus. So the monkeypox virus or monkeypox disease, it is a disease which is caused by the monkeypox virus. Firstly, it was given the name monkeypox because it was firstly discovered in monkeys, so it was given the name of monkeypox virus. And now it is called Mpox virus or Mpox disease. It is a zoonotic virus which is belonging to the orthopox genus. It is a linear double-stranded DNA virus belonging to the pox variety family that has been listed by the WHO in its list of diseases with pandemic and epidemic potentials. The subset includes smallpox, vaccina, and cowpox viruses. It leads to rashes and flu-like symptoms like the vital known virus that cause smallpox. There are two known types or clades of the MFOX viruses. One that originated in the Central Africa, which is known as the clade 1, and the other originated in the West Africa, which is known as clade 2. The current world outbreak of 2022 and 2023 is caused by clade 2B, a subtype of the less severe West African clade. The impact spread through close contact with someone who is infected by the virus, or you can also get it from infected animals. Now, how common is MPOX? MPOX is a rare disease, but number of cases in, is increasing in Africa as well as in regions that haven't seen these infections before. Where else is MPOX found other than Africa? For decades, MPOX was mostly seen in Africa, but it's occasionally found in other countries, including the United States, etc. In the summer of 2021, a case of smallpox was found in a U.S. resident who had traveled from Nigeria to the United States. Then, in 2022, brought outbreaks to regions outside of Africa, including Europe, the America, and Australia. Who does MPOX affect? Who will be affected from the MPOX virus? Now, anyone can get MPOX. In Africa, most cases are among children under 15 years of age. While outside of Africa, the disease appears to be more common in men who have sex with, with men, but there are numerous cases in people who don't fall into that category and they get MPOX virus by the other ways of infection. Now, discovery of MPOX virus. How MPOX was discovered? So the monkey fox virus was identified, firstly identified in 1958 during outbreaks of a fox-like disease in monkeys, which were kept for research in the research center in Denmark. Hence, the disease was given the name of monkey fox disease or monkey fox virus because it was firstly identified in monkeys, which were kept for the purpose of research in a research lab in Denmark city. The first reported human case of MPOX was a nine-month-old boy. Firstly, the MPOX was discovered, identified, a nine-month-old boy in the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1970. The fashion developed telltale signs of MPOX, including power and a fox-like crash, which developed into hemorrhagic signs that crusted over and healed over the next two weeks. But despite the initial recovery, the patients scummed up by secondary infections and died in the hospitals due to the infection. Now the outbreaks of the impox um, virus or impox disease. After 1970, impox occurred sporadically in Central and East Africa, which was caused by the clade 1, and West Africa, which is caused by the clade 2 virus. Within the next decade, additional MFOX cases mainly among children, about 93% of all cases, have been identified in the Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as other countries were also affected by the virus, which are the Central and West African countries, Liberia, Syria, Leone, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast. In the 1970s and 80s, most of the reported cases occurred in Democratic Republic of Congo with an estimated rate, an estimated 11% case fatality rate among those who had not received a smallpox vaccine. 
The first outbreak of MFAX in humans outside Africa was documented in 2003 in the United States, and it is linked with the import of wild animals from Ghana, which the disease was caused by the CLAD2 virus. Since 2005, thousands of suspected cases are reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo every year. In 2007, MFAX re emerged in Nigeria and continues to spread between to spread across the countries and in travelers to other places. In recent years, a few small clusters and single MFAX cases were identified in the UK in 2018 and 19, Israel during 2018, Singapore 2019, and in the US during 2021, all linked to travel to Nigeria. It means that the people in which the warriors who are detected identified they have a travel history with Nigeria, which has experienced re-emergence of the MFAX and reported over 500 suspected cases since 2017. In May 2022, an outbreak of MFAX appeared suddenly and rapidly spread across the Europe, the Americas, and then all six WHO regions with one 10 countries reporting about 87,000 cases and 112 deaths due to the MFAX virus. The global outbreak has affected primarily, but not only the gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men and has freed person to person through sexual network. In 2022, the MFAX outbreaks occurred in the refugee camp in the Republic of the Sudan which was caused by the declared one of MPOX virus. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of the MPOX virus? How we will identify that it is an MPOX disease? MPOX causes signs and symptoms which usually begins within a week, but can start from one to 21 days after exposures to the virus. Symptoms typically last within two to four weeks but may last longer in someone with a weakened immune system. In usually, a patient will recover within two to four weeks of the infection. Common symptoms of the impacts are rash, fever, sore throat, headache, muscle aches, back pain, low energy, swan and lymph nodes, etc. While the, uh, firstly, the rash begins as a flat sore which develops into a blister filled with liquid and may be itchy or painful. As the rash heals, the lesions dry up, crust over, and fall off. Some people may have one or a few skin lesions, and others have hundreds or more. These can appear anywhere on the body, such as the plums of hands and soles of feet, or face, mouth, and throat, groin, groin and genital areas, and as it is. Some people also have painful swelling of their rectum or fan and difficulty when feeling. People with MFAX are infectious and can pass the disease into the others even they don't have any symptoms of MFAX virus, but they can transfer it into the other organisms and affect them. What are the complications related to the MFAX virus? Generally, MFAX is not a complicated disorder, but sometimes it may become complicated. For example, the children, pregnant people, and the people with weak immune systems are at high risk for the complication from MFAX virus. For example, it may cause bacterial superinfection of skin, permanent skin scarring, hyperpigmentations or hypopigmentations, permanent corneal scarring, i.e., vision loss, pneumonia. It may cause dehydration because of the vomiting, diarrhea, de decrease oral intact due to the painful oral signs, and insensible fluid loss from widespread skin disruptions. It may cause sepsis, encephalitis. It may even cause death, pain or difficulty in swallowing, mycocarditis, prostatitis, prostatitis, melanitis, melanitis, urethritis, etc. These complications may cause only in children, pregnant women, or the people who have weak immune systems. But generally, it can cure uh, the impacts disease can cure within two to four weeks by itself. 
how does the mvox wire spread? I mean, how mvox will be spread from one to another? So, how the mvox virus can spread? It is the monkey pox virus. It may be transferred to primates or the largest animal reservoirs, rodents. The rodents can also transfer it to the uh, primates or primates can transfer it other into the rodents. Then fr from these animals, rodents or primates, body fluid or skeletal signs, they can be transferred the virus into the humans and the humans can transfer it into the other humans through mucous membranes or skin wounds, through respiratory tract. It has the infected patients. It can transfer it into the other individuals. And a mother can also transfer it into their child during pregnancy. Now, the impox wire, the virus spreads through close contact with an infected animals or person. How it will be uh, transferred from one organism to another due to the close contact with the infected animals or persons who are infected with the mfox virus. The mfox virus spreads from person to person through direct contact. How? Through direct contact. Uh, direct contact with mfox rash and scabs from a person with mfox as well as contact with their saliva of a respiratory secretion i.e. snot, mucus, etc. and areas around the anus rectum or vagina. It can also transfer spread through oral, inner, or vaginal sex or touching the genitalia, penis, testicle, labia, and vagina or anus of a person who has MFOX virus. Hugging through the hugging massage and kissing with the MFOX virus patients. Extended close contact more than four hours with respiratory droplets and infected persons. Cloths, sheets, blankets, or other materials that have been in contact with rashes or body fluids of an infected person, impox virus can be free to the fetus during pregnancy or to the newborn by close contact during and after birth. Impox frees from infected animals to a person through animal bites or scratches by using products of the infected animals such as skin, furs, made up infected animals or meat or something other of the infected animals, direct contact with the body fluid or rashes of the animals who have infected with mpox virus. Now, structure of the mpox virus. So, mpox virus are barrel or oval shaped particles with an average size of approximately 2 a 2 nanometer and 2 to 20 nanometer. 2 a 2 nanometer in length and 2 to 20 nanometer in diameter or width. So, it, con it consists, it is the structure of the mpox virus. The outer membrane, the inner membrane, it is the DNA of the virus, lateral body, it is the core, it is the protein spikes, it is the filicide layer, and the core fibers of the infox virus. Now, the virus genome and morphology. The infox virus genome consists of approximately 197,000 base pair genome and includes hairfin terminal as well as more than 190 non overlapping open reading prams. The highly conserved central coding regions of the genome is flanked by variable ends that contain inverted terminal refeeds. At least 90% At least 90 open reading frames are known to be essential for pox virus replications and morphogenesis. The mpox virus variants contain over 30 structural and membrane viral proteins, as well as virus encoded DNA dependent RNA polymerases and associated transcriptional enzymes. Pox virus particles have two mature palms. One is both of which can mediate infections. The extracellular involved virus, one is the extracellular involved, extracellular involved virus and the intracellular mature virus. 
released during the cell life. It is the extra cellular envelope where it means it contains an extra envelope membrane outside the body. While the other is intracellular mature virus. It is the intracellular mature virus, that one. And it is it is the extra extracellular envelope virus. It contains an extra coat or envelope outside the body. So it is known as extracellular envelope virus. It is the genome of the impact virus. It is the central genomic origins. It is the ITR region which is present on both sides of the genome. It is the variable right end and variable left end. It is the hairpin loop which is present in the genome of the impact virus. It is the root region, the central gen uh, genomic regions of the virus. Now we will discuss the life cycle or replication cycles of the monkeypox virus. The replication cycles of monkeypox virus consist of the following steps, i.e. firstly attachment, then entry into the cells, early viral gene transcription and translation, then DNA replications, intermediate and late transcription and translation, assembly, morphogenesis, and budding. Firstly, the virus will come and attach to the glyco, glycose aminoglycans receptors on the cell wall of or cell membrane of the host cells. After attachment, the viral envelope will remain outside and the other things along with the DNA will enter into the host cells. After that, early transcription of the DNA into the mRNA take place and the mRNA formed proteins and enzymes which is necessary for the decoding of the virus, for the decoding of the MPOX virus. After that, DNA replication will take place and a large number of DNA copies are formed within the cytoplasm. And after that, the intermediate or late translation will take place and a large number of mRNAs were pumped, which is translated into proteins with the help of ribosomes present in the cytoplasms and a large number of enzymes and DNA copies are produced. Then the enzyme and the proteins and DNA copies assembled and pumped the virons, premature viron copies. Then it's become mature through morphogenesis and intracellular and intracellular mature virus will formed. After the formation of the intracellular mature virus, it's converted with the help of Golgi complex or Golgi bodies into the intracellular enveloped virus. After the formation of the intracellular enveloped virus, it is the mature form of the virus and it's butt out from the cells and now it is known as the extracellular enveloped. Now it is known as the extracellular enveloped virus, which is ready to go and infect other organisms or other cells in the body. While at the first stage when early transcription takes place, the mRNA produce certain types of enzymes and other proteins which makes alterations in the host cellular membranes due to which the efflux of water or fluids take place and design formations occurs. Now diagnosis. Diagnosis is very difficult because other viruses have similar signs and symptoms with the impox virus. Now identifying impox can be difficult as other infections and conditions can look similar with it. It is important to distinguish impox from the chickenpox, measles, bacterial skin infections, scabies, herpes, syphilis, other sexually transmit transmissible infections, and medi medications associated allergies. Someone with impox may also have another sexually transmissible infection such as herpes. Alternatively, a child with suspected impox may also have chicken pox. For these reasons, testing is key for people to get treatment as early as possible and prevent further spread. Detection of viral DNA 
by polymerase chain reaction as the preferred laboratory test for MPOX virus. The most important and preferred test for detection of MPOX virus as the detection of the viral DNA through PCR reaction. The wet diagnostic specimens are taken directly from the rash, skin, fluid, or crusts collected by vigorous swabbing. In the absence of skin lesions, testing can be done on oropharyngeal or rectal swabs. Testing blood is not recommended for antibody detection because antibody detection methods may not be useful as they do not distinguish between different orthofox viruses. Now, what will be the treatment of the MFOX disease? Treatment for most people with MFOX is aims at relieving the symptom, only to relieve the, sense, uh, the symptom. The infection can get relief from the fans or symptoms ATC. Care may include managing skin damage from the MFOX rash, drinking enough fluid to help keep stool soft and fan management. If you have MFOX, isolate at home in a separate room from family and pets until your rash and scabs heal. There is no specific treatment approved for MFOX, MFOX virus. Healthcare professionals may treat MFOX with antiviral drugs such which were used for the treatment of smallpox viruses such as ticuvirimet or Brincidopuvir or Brincidopuvir. For those unlikely to respond to the vaccine, a healthcare professionals may offer vaccina immunoglobulins. Getting an MFOX vaccine can help prevent infection. The vaccine should be given within four days of contact with someone who has MFOX. Now, vaccines. Which vaccines will be used for the prevention of MPOX virus? MPOX vaccines are currently only recommended for people who have been exposed to or are likely to be exposed. You might be at higher risk of exposure if you have been in close contact with someone with MPOX. Someone you have had sex within the first two weeks has been diagnosed with MPOX or you have sex at a sex club bathhouse or other commercial sex we know within the last six months. You have had sex at an event or location where impox was feeding or you, you have a sex partner, you have a sex partner who has been in any of the above situations. You expect to be in one of the above situations. If you are a man who has sex with men or transgender person or a non-binary person, being or if you have been diagnosed with one or more sexually transmitted infections in the first six months, had sex with more than one person in the first six months, or it's important to get vaccinated before or as soon as possible after exposure. The healthcare workers are also at a high risk of exposure to the MPOX disease. So we have to give a vaccine to the healthcare workers also. What are the other ways by which we can prevent the MFOX virus? In addition to vaccines, other ways to help prevent the spread of MFOX include avoiding contact with infected animals, avoiding contact with bedding and other materials contaminated with the virus, thoroughly cooking all foods that contain animals or meat or parts of the infected animals, Washing your hands frequently with soaps and water and using sanitizer, etc. Avoiding contact with people who may be infected with the virus. Practicing safe sex, including the use of condoms and dental dams. Wearing a mask that covers your mouth and nose when around others. Cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces using personal protective equipment when caring for people infected with the virus. How do you take care of yourself? Now, if you have MFOX symptoms, there are, there are over-the-counter medications that can help you feel better, which includes the fan reliever and fever reducers. Medicines like ibuprofen and acetaminophen can help relieve your symptoms. Oatmeal baths, soaking in a warm bath with 
colloidal oatmeal can relieve the dry, edgy feeling that comes with skin rashes. Isolate yourself if you are infected. Avoid contact with others until all of your resins have scared. Cover single or local ulcers or sores. Use gauze or bandages to limit the spread to others and the environments. Take good care. It's important to stay home and rest when you are sick. Wear a mask around others and drink plenty of fluids. Avoid contact with pets, especially rodents. When should you see to your healthcare providers? Call your healthcare providers if you. When will you call your healthcare providers? You can call your healthcare providers if you feel sick and with fever, edges or swollen lymph nodes, have a new rash or sores, have been in close contact with a person who has been infected with the impox virus. And now these are some of the references from where I take the data. And it's thank you very much.